Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Tell me more about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity, a Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the Councilors, Ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the Council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the Council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual Council Chambers. In most cases, the Ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. I'm scheduled to have an audience with the Council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the Tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's all for now.